hope you are all very well today in this video i'll show you how to make a five column sections in html email template in the previous lesson we learned about how to make a four column sections to add a new section as like before we have to add a tier td and table and the table common properties are here as like before now i have to add four uh, five columns td one column two columns three columns four columns five columns you can add some space or not as per your client's requirement or as per your project requirement I am adding some spaces here. I am just adding a 20 pixel, for example, a 20 pixel space in between them. Now, if you have a single element like text or a single image or something single, then you don't have to add a table inside this td elements but if you have uh, more than uh, one type of contents like if you have a different button and have a uh, text section like this or have an image or something else then you have to add you should add a table inside it so the same thing for all other table data Let's test by put, uh, putting something here inside this table and count the sizes. I'm just adding a small one so I can count it easily. Okay, as I don't have any contents in other table data, so it's not showing any spaces there. So I have to distribute the table data among all of them. Okay, so I see we have 84 pixel for each of the sections here you if you hover over on this td you will see that number to see it correctly you can do two things to count it correctly you uh, have to have to uh, know the template width which is 600 minus how many spaces we have 50 pixels to the sides and one two three four four spacers that mean 80 pixels in total 180 pixels i have to minus from 600 4 to 0 divided by 5 columns 84 so there's the correct size so you can put with 84 here eighty four. Okay, we have our five column section now. Now I can add more contents to it. Some some text.
okay this is the five column section five column template i see this is left aligned by default if you want to make it centered then you have to add a table warping it and make the table center 60 and align it to center now the same thing for uh, for all other of them or you can have a 84 pixel here 84 pixel width image so it can be full width and centered to the sizes okay what happens if i see it on mobile now it will not stack because we don't have media query classes so it shows like this with 20 pixel of spaces and everything is single line but it was not our intention we have to add the media query classes as per the previous lessons to here yeah, I'm wrap to here 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 if you miss one then it will not work properly here 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 and that's it okay now it's one column in mobile now if you want two to one in mobile then what you have to do is you have to make three column layout first i would know we have a three column uh, section before so i am not making it okay um i can i can make it GRTD table okay okay we, we can count it if we need 2 to 1 then 84 84 20 188 dr td it I can put the class two and inside that we need to have these three TDs that means this three these TDs TD table TR and this TDs and as we need them in one line a single line then I have to remove this wrapper too so what happens let's see uh, we just have one TD now I have to add more of them TD. so same thing I can copy it from here same thing this one I can copy and I can copy again this one and remove just one from here okay this one will be 84 instead of one double eight. 
so what i've got is the same thing but in mobile you will see 2 2 by 2 2 2 by 1 yeah so that's it that's how you can deal with the five column sections if you want to make them using the percentage values then i can i can add a dummy placeholder section here and as i have explained about the percentage values in my previous lessons will be able to get it uh, by this code attached but uh, for five section for two to one break i don't recommend the percentage value uh, because it may uh, leave some deviation a little deviations uh, but i can add this code so you can try it at your end i'm not explaining it you can uh, try it at your end and let me know if there is anything um, you have in your mind about this in the next lesson uh, i will add the tutorial about uh, more easy sections or i'm going to add some real life examples of html email templates how the clients uh, provides the requirement and how we make it so till then have a great day uh, feel free to comment if you have any questions or feel free to comment if you need the videos for any specific uh, problems or specific topics thank you